I think just let us understand how vitamin C as a science helps in sepsis. So, if you look into the vitamin C action, so it acts as a cofactor uh, for dopamine B hydroxylase. So, this dopamine B hydroxylase converts dopamine into norepinephrine. So, what it really does is it increases your endogenous norepinephrine levels in the blood. So, if you look at all the studies, studies have shown that it uh, reduces your vasopressor usage or it has vasopressor sparing effect like the corticosteroids and sepsis. So, because it does increase endogenous norepinephrine. So, and what multiple animal studies and other studies have shown is in critically ill patients and more so in septic, vitamin C is depleted to a very subnormal levels and because your vitamin C is depleted, our understanding is your norepinephrine level also is depleted and maybe that is the reason your hypotension may become little protracted. Okay. And uh, vitamin C like any other good vitamins, it scavenges free oxygen radicals and it is shown to restore some of the cellular components because we know mitochondria gets affected in sepsis. So, there are some nutrients for the cellular function like tetrahydrobiotin and alpha tocopherol. So, vitamin C is found to restore these good nutrients or good agents within the cell. Most importantly, I think this is where I found in multiple animal studies, what we typically see in sepsis is lot of vascular leakage. Why vascular leakage happens including your viral sepsis? because your endothelial integrity is lost because there is lot of intracellular and intercellular leakage of fluid that happens from the cellular. So, what it has shown is it, vitamin C in multiple animal studies has shown it increases your tight junctions. Tight junctions are the ones which preserves the endothelial integrity within the cells and prevents leakage of fluid from the vascular endothelium and that is what vitamin C, C has shown in animal studies it preserves your endothelial integrity by increasing your tight junctions which maintains the uh, sort of integrity of your endothelium and reduces your vascular leakage. And vitamin C like any other good vitamins it is shown to improve your phagocytic function, macrophage function and your lymphocytes because these are essential for your cellular immunity or cellular defense mechanisms in sepsis. So, now the question should come to you why we use thiamine in the concoction because typically we have come to using this HAT combination. HAT is you use hydrocortisone, ascorbic acid and thiamine. So, why we use thiamine? Because when you use high dose of vitamin C, because your vitamin C is depleted to a very subnormal levels, you are compelled to use higher doses of vitamin C, it causes oxalate deposition within the kidneys. So, why does that happen? Because this reaction it typically happens when there is a reduction of glyoxylate, it produces oxalate. So, typically what you want to happen is glyoxylate to get oxidized to carbon dioxide. So, this is what you want. And this is mediated by this glyoxylate. <laughs>